everybody, we're in another episode of Total Fine. In this episode, we are going to see about different sections. About S and when S sometimes sound like S, Z and Z, and obviously examples. Second, a funny sketch about types of students that we can find on Gringo Felicent. Third, a culture section about typical lunch of Loja, and you are going to see that it's very interesting and delicious. And finally, an entertainment section about the TV series Stranger Things. Enjoy this video! Hi, my name is Manuel and today we are going to talk about the pronunciation of S. The letter S could be pronounced like S and Z. The Z is usually pronounced Z. The S sound make a hiss and the Z produces a vibration and is voice. Uh, now let's give some examples to practice our pronunciation with S and Z. Z. Stop. Say. Sit. Stone. Horse. House. Miss. Pass. Z. Zoo. Zebra. Buzz. Breathe. Crazy. Be careful. S can also sound like Z. Here we have some examples. Shoes. Loose. Race. Cruise. Nose. The S sounds like Z and Z. Why? The reason is the letter S have these sounds. Z, Z, Z in different contexts. Good luck with these sounds. Your favorite worst English school is back. More dysfunctional than ever. With the craziest teacher. Welcome to the Gringo Feliz Center, where learning English is not an option. <laughs> The teacher's pet. He's a student who always does everything and is the teacher's favorite, naturally. Yeah, so there are only three words I know of in the English language that we don't... Teacher, teacher, don't forget that we have homeboys for today and then I exam. Ah! I forgot that. Well, that is why she is my favorite student. <laughs> The bat. These students never sleep at night, but always sleep in class. Hey, wake up! I don't know why you don't sleep at home. This is not your bed, this is your desk. The gamers. These students are the ones who always uh, play video games during the class. Hey you, call me, shoot me, shoot me. What are you guys doing? Mm -mm. What are you doing? Nothing, teacher, we are using the dictionary. Oh. Give me your phones, thank you. No more gaming today for you. The Chapo Guzman guys. These guys are the students who always enjoy escaping from class. So, as I was saying, there. Come in! What? You're 45 minutes late! Yeah, forgive us, teacher. We have a presentation for environment day. Again? This Okay. I don't know what to think. It's the third environment day this month. Huh? But they bring you a meter. Oh. Well. You shouldn't bother, boy. Well. No ads is just for you guys. Just go sit down. Thank you. Yeah. 
the destructors. These students are the ones who never shut up. The words chocolate and private are exceptions to the rule of the silent E at the end of a word. So, it is not private, it is private. Will you shut up? Oh my God! I'm trying to teach a class! So, the silent E at the end of the words chocolate and private, these are exceptions to the. Do you know the meaning of the word shut up? My God, I should have stayed in Canada! Okay. Now, tomorrow is the final test. And I'm going to mark very hard because this is the worst class I ever had. No, teacher, teacher, Oh, four, four, teacher, no, teacher. It's over, see you tomorrow. And that is the occasion when in spite of being different, all the students fear for their lives. I'm Jaime and I'm going to talk about a typical lunch in Loja. First, the soup called Red. The dish originates from days when there was not much food due to drought and the country's problem with Peru. The people of Loja brought guineo, which is a specific type of Latin, from the coast to feed their animals. The need was so great that it occurred to someone to prepare something with this product for human consumption. This soup is prepared with chopped guineo, milk, cheese, and white onion refried with lard, among other ingredients. As a main course, we have the cecina, which is a salty meat dried in the sun, air, or smoke. It's a typical dish that is prepared with pork and is complemented with potato. And finally, miel con quesillo, which is a delicious, simple, and typical loja dessert. It consists of a slice of cheese covered in panela honey. Try this someday. Thank you. Hi, I am Maritza. And I am Maria. We are going to talk about the TV series called Stranger Things. So if you really like mystery, this TV series is the best option. Stranger Things is an American science fiction horror series created by the Duffer Brothers and realized on Netflix. It all starts when Will Bayer is adopted by the creature from the Upside Down. His mother, the town police chief, searches for Will. At the same time, a young girl called Eleven that has strength power escapes from the lab and assists Will friends in their efforts to find Will. A year later, Will has been rescued. When it is discovered that Will is still being influenced by things from the upside down, his friends and family learn there is a larger threat to their universe from the upside down. Later, the chief becomes increasingly concerned about Eleven and Mike's relationship. At the same time, the town has no idea there is a secret Russian lab seeking to open a gateway to the Upside Down, allowing the entities from the Upside Down to possess people in Hawkins. In my opinion, Stranger Things is one of the best TV series because it has charismatic and hardworking characters and the mystery of the episodes is very good. This is a recommended series for all audiences. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to follow us on the social media. Until the next time, be totally fine.